Welcome children to another new academic year. This is your first video for computer science in this academic year. I am your computer instructor Ansu and I will be taking computer throughout this year for you. You know that we are having a COVID crisis that makes us study by sitting at home. So I hope you will use this as a good way to learn more than what you have done in school. And I hope the videos will be very good for you to learn. In the first chapter, we need to discuss about evolution of computers, how the computers came into being and how the first computer was made, that is evolution of computers. Shall we move on? In this module or in this lesson, we are just going to talk about evolution of computers. You know that computers are used for various personal and professional tasks. Every day when you look around you, you see there are a lot of computer machines being installed in different places. What are they used for? They are either used in shops to do the calculations or it is used to do some graphics effect. It is used for almost all the fields. Even for education also we are using it now to the maximum extent. Right? They are versatile and can perform various functions at the same time. You can do a lot of things at the same time because it is a fast machine. Every year it is being updated into new and new versions and the memory capacity increases. Everything is increasing year by year. So it is a versatile means it is a unique type of machine and it does a lot of function. The word computer is derived from the word compute which means to calculate. The computer word came from the word called compute which means to calculate something. Today the computer's work is not limited to just calculations but our forefathers used it only for calculating. That is it was only used for calculating by the older generation of people. Now we have a lot of uses with computers. I think you use it for playing games too, right? Yes? We'll move on to the next slide, my dear. Now, when you talk about the history of computers, you need to know what these five things are. What is an abacus? What is the Pascaline? What is Napier's bones? What is the difference engine? And what is an analytical engine that is what we are going to primarily discuss today the abacus the pascaline napier's bones difference engine and analytical engine first we will deal with abacus this is one of the things that you have seen from a lower grade onwards you have seen this or you might have one of these at home even i have one here so the first calculating machine that was ever discovered was the abacus. Let me read out through the important points and I'll explain it to you in depth. Abacus was the first counting device that began the journey of development of computers. It was the first calculating device. It was the first device that was used for calculations. It was the first mechanical device used for calculations. Why is it me uh, a mechanical device? Because you have to move things, right? In order to do the calculations, those who have done it knows it well. So, Abacus was the first mechanical device used for calculation. It was developed in China. China was the one who discovered this or developed this device. It had beads on strings or rods and mounted inside a wooden frame. Can you see the picture on the right side? You can see that it has a wooden frame, yes, and the beads are placed inside the wooden frame. It did not count itself but helped a person using it to keep a count. You know these beads cannot count on itself. You cannot tell it, okay, count it for me. It cannot be done. You have to use your hands or the person using it has to move the beads in order to get the counts correctly. It was used for addition, subtraction, 
multiplication and division that is the basic mathematical calculations were done using the abacus next we need to talk about the pascaline it is also called the arithmetic machine the pascaline is also called the arithmetic machine it was invented by blaise pascal in 1642 Blaise Pascal was the person who invented the Pascaline and it was invented in 1642. He developed this machine to help his father collect the taxes. His father was the person who used to collect taxes in those areas and it was difficult to keep count of the money for that man. So he developed this machine to help his father collect the taxes. The device had wheels, gears and dials. You can see a picture of it on the left side. It had wheels, gears and dials. It had wheels like this. Look at the my cursor. Look at my cursor. It had wheels like this. It had gears to pull it. There were gears, attachments to pull it. And there were also dials in it to indicate. The device could perform addition and subtraction with numbers entered by manipulating its dials. So it was basically used for doing addition and subtraction. Now let's continue with Napier's bones. It was invented by a Scottish mathematician and scientist John Napier who lived between 1550 and 1617. It helps you to multiply numbers. If you remember from the previous slide, you can understand that abacus was used for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. But pascaline was only used for addition and subtraction. Napier's bones, on the other hand, is being used for multiplication. There are nine different bones or strips with numbers on them. And it is used to multiply a long number by a single digit number. The next one we need to discuss is the difference engine. The British mathematician Charles Babbage is considered the father of computers. I repeat one more time. Charles Babbage is known as the father of computers. He invented the difference engine in 1822. It was used to solve mathematical equations called polynomials. It was not used for addition or subtraction. It was used for solving polynomials. It substituted multiplication and division with repeated addition and subtraction. You know that multiplication is repeated addition and division is repeated subtraction. So he kept into mind those two things and developed the difference engine. It consists of a number of columns numbered 1 to n. The engine is programmed by setting initial values to the columns. That is, you keep an initial value. It can be 0, 1 or 2. Whatever the initial value that is required for the equation, you have to keep that and then it works from that. The last device that we need to learn is the analytical engine. It was again invented by Charles Babbage in 1833, 10 years after he made the difference engine. The analytical engine was considered as the first general purpose computer. It was considered as the first general purpose computer. The picture is already placed on the right side for you to see. It had five units called input, output, store, mill and control. The five units are input, output, store, mill and control. These terms are more or less similar to the ones that you are using now. That is why he is called the father of computers. Input was provided through punched cards. He used to insert punched cards as input. 
store was used for storing the data now we have memories for storing the data for an analytical engine store was used for storing the data mill was the calculating unit now we use the arithmetic and logic unit for calculating but mill was the one that was using the calculation part that was doing the calculation part in an analytical engine control was used for supervising other units and all the things that was being done in the analytical machine was controlled by the control unit this device laid the foundation of computers that were further developed to give us the modern computers with this we are coming to the end of today's presentation i would like you to go through all these things in detail at least two or three times and understand the concept and the important points all these points are there in your textbook itself so i don't want you to write down anything in your note thank you